Hey guys, Nick with Phone Arena here. At MWC in Barcelona, Sony announced its greatest smartphone yet, the Xperia Z2. On the outside it looks almost like a Z1, but on the inside you'll find improved hardware and the screen is much better too. HTC is also going to announce a new flagship in a few days, the so-called all-new HTC One or the HTC M8. Quite a lot about it is already known since the new HTC One got leaked numerous times over the past few weeks. So, which of these two phones you should be more excited about, the Sony Xperia Z2 or the new HTC One? Let's take a look at their design first. The Sony Xperia Z2 is built to impress with its solid feel and premium design. It is made of glass and metal and on top of it all, the phone is water resistant. But the all-new HTC One is going to be in the same league when it comes to design. It is expected to brag with an all-metal construction just like its highly acclaimed predecessor. The new HTC One isn't likely to be a water-resistant phone, but unlike the Z2, it will feature a built-in infrared blaster for controlling TVs, stereos and set-top boxes. We must also mention that both the new HTC One and the Xperia Z2 will come with high-quality front-facing stereo speakers. The Xperia Z2 has what Sony calls its best smartphone display yet, and since we've seen it personally, we totally agree with that. The phone has a 5.2-inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1080 by 1920 pixels. Even though the new HTC One will be about as large as the Sony Xperia Z2, it will use a slightly smaller 5-inch 1080 by 1920 pixel display. A difference of 0.2 inches is not that big of a deal, of course, but it still counts as an advantage for Sony's flagship. Size aside, uh, last year's HTC One had a great LCD display, and we're assuming that the screen on the new HTC flagship will be no less good-looking. Sony is launching the Xperia Z2 with Android 4.4 KitKat, and on top of it is layered a custom interface which doesn't feel radically different from stock Android. All menus and native applications have been tweaked to some extent, and the result is a very smooth, very consistent Android UI. HTC's custom Android interface deviates further from the stock Android experience. On the new HTC One, we expect seeing Blink Feed, which is HTC's news and social network feed aggregator, and the feature is probably going to be upgraded and easier to manage. Standard Android home screens with icons and widgets will be available as well. In addition to that, HTC is expected to add a number of gestures to its user interface, including the option to wake the phone with a double tap on its home screen. Both the Sony Xperia Z2 and the all-new HTC One should be powered by the very same system on chip, a quad-core Snapdragon 801 with a maximum clock speed of 2.3 GHz. This is one of Qualcomm's best smartphone chips to date, and we're assuming that the performance of both phones will be flawless. Still, the Xperia Z2 will probably have the upper hand with its 3GB of RAM, while the new HTC One will have 2GB of RAM. Of course, 2 gigs should be enough for the needs of most people, but the Z2's extra gig will make it more future-proof. The Sony Xperia Z2 uses a 20.7 megapixel camera, which is very similar to the one found on the Xperia Z1. And that's great, last year's model could take great photos. The Xperia Z2 also supports 4K video recording and can shoot slow motion videos at 120 frames per second. Special features include blurring the background in images and the adding of augmented reality effects to the shots. As for the new HTC One, it will use an unusual camera setup called Duo Camera. Basically, there will be two cameras on the phone's back. One of them will be an ultra-pixel camera, probably very similar to the one found on the 2013 HTC One model. As far as we know, the other camera will be used to apply special effects to the image. Users will be allowed to shift the focus of the photo after it has been taken and to create a shallow depth of field effect by blurring out the background. Strangely, other phones can do all these tricks without the need for a secondary camera. Perhaps the new HTC One will be better at them than the competition, or who knows, maybe its second camera has a higher purpose that we don't know of yet. To wrap things up, the Sony Xperia Z2 is shaping up as one of the best Android smartphones to date. It has adopted all there was to like about the Xperia Z1 and improves in many key areas where improvements could be done. From the looks of it, HTC is taking a similar approach. The all-new HTC One is not going to be much different from the 2013 flagship Android model, 
but it will introduce a number of welcome upgrades, including the addition of a bigger screen, a much faster processor and hopefully a more capable main camera. Still, based on all the evidence we have so far, we are inclined to believe that the new HTC One may have a hard time outperforming Sony's finest. Or we might be wrong, HTC might still have a few tricks up its sleeve. Whether that's the case should be known soon. The new HTC One will be announced on March 25th and for more details about it just keep an eye on our website phonearena.com.